Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I'm a small reseller and new YouTuber. And uh, I thought today I would show you a few uh, kind of interesting things. I have a few items that I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what to do with. One of them really, really not sure what to do with but i'm hoping some of you guys maybe have some ideas possibly somebody's encountered something like this maybe we'll see uh anyways so we'll get started uh first thing i'll show you guys are the coca-cola things and when i was getting out this sign i also uh, found a couple other things here that I thought you guys might like to see. So take a good look at this Santa guy here. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I know that photo, which is an actual photo. It's not a copy, but, uh, a photo I can date accurately to the fifties and this guy here, this is my Coca-Cola price guide book. It's an older book. What year is it from? It's a great book. I know that they were very expensive. This one here, the last copyright on it is uh, 1997, it looks like. So it's this is definitely an older one, but uh, it is a very good one. I know that these were quite expensive. Uh, my mom actually honestly had bought this years ago, uh, shortly after her uh, father had passed and she knew she was going to have to kind of start going through some of the Coca-Cola stuff and figure out what some of it was. And so she went ahead and spent the money on this. Uh, it was expensive then. I don't know. I haven't looked them up to see what they cost now, but they're definitely one of those collector books that it's worth getting. It's got a lot of great stuff, but you're going to pay <laughs> pay a pretty penny for it that's for sure this is the same cutout and down here it says 1952 santa slash tree display two sizes that's the same guy so that's a good way to date that photo and then on this one it's another like die cut, I think is what you would say, die cut behind some cases of Coke. And this one, let's see, which one were you, dude? Oh, okay. So this guy, <laughs> there we go, goes right there. See, he's holding like uh, two six packs. And there's that dude. So, uh, let's see. And this one, it just says 1950s, 36 inch. So I don't know where this was, the back of a store somewhere, I guess. I don't know. You can kind of see like an old tree back here. Like it looks like a docking area somewhere, but I thought these were, uh, just, you know, interesting anyway. And being able to Mm, kind of like accurately date them into the 50s and, and know for sure. I feel like sometimes the 50s and 60s, even 40s, just like, I don't know. I feel feel like the decades, there are certain aspects in each decade that are kind of like hard-lined specific to that decade. But for the most part, I feel like trends and fads and stuff kind of sort of blended in together. And so for me anyway, it can be a little little more difficult sometimes to pinpoint you know was this the 50s versus the late 40s or the 60s or you know so and then we've got this big guy so he's some kind of uh, i don't think it's aluminum it's almost too heavy for that may it might be but i don't know it's some kind of metal it's not tin i don't think on the bottom, you can see it's the uh, AM, I think that's 1115 right here. So that would be its, 
I don't know what the right term is, model number, I don't know. Whatever the term is for that, that's what that is. But you can see it's kind of got that old script. Uh, so this guy here, let me show you this side. He's got you know, slight minor wear, you know, here and there. I, I don't know that I would necessarily say he's like brand new, complete mint condition. I don't know that I would go that far, but he's pretty dang close. He's pretty dang close. You know, he's got some mild scratches up here and stuff, but I mean, come on. You don't, you don't find him like this terribly often. So, uh, a, a cool piece for sure. And then I was able to, shockingly, find this guy also in here. And it says 1950s with bottle flange signs. So this guy also dates to that. Now it says in here, it says $700. The one I have says $500. I think those, anytime you look in a price guide, I don't care if it came out this year, <laughs> look at it uh, not as that exact number as the current value, but it's a good way to still identify, with some degree anyway, the not value of an item, but which ones are more valuable, which ones carry a higher value, no matter what that value is today, but they're the more sought after pieces. And that's the way you should look at any val value guide, any price guide, any of that. I don't care if it sold for X amount yesterday. It doesn't mean that's what you'll get today. And so the rule of thumb is things are only what somebody will pay for them. You can get a feel for what that amount could or should be, but there will never be a guarantee. So I just always like to caution people when they look in things like this. This is an excellent resource to uh, identify things. This is an excellent resource to kind of see which things tend to be more valuable than the others that are similar to it. But this is not a guide where you can look at it and say, oh, it says $500 and list it for $500. I mean, you can. You can. <laughs> it, you may be way off. It may be worth a lot more today. You know, you still want to do some investigating. And I feel like most people know this. I feel like maybe I probably don't even have to say this, really, to be honest. But just in case... And I think it's a good reminder, I think, for everybody, because it's easy to kind of like see a number and get carried away with something, but it's always good to look up what today's comps are. You know, I told you this book was printed in 97. A few years have gone by since then, so there's a chance this isn't so accurate now. Nonetheless, it is a good resource to identify things, see which ones are more valuable out of out of all of them, you know, that kind of stuff, but don't think that that's your Bible to know exactly what you should be listing something at. For this next, or these next couple things I'm going to show you, there's one part of it in particular that I'm really not sure what to do with, and we'll get to that in a second. So there was an estate sale auction that uh, probably a year and a half or so ago I had gone to and I think in total at this auction I had spent three or four hundred dollars and but it was like a lot of stuff and every lot I had gotten was you know probably ten dollars or less twenty dollars or less but for the most part they were super low dollar and I got a lot of pretty darn good inventory with it. The downside of it was that I also, you know, of course, when you buy in auction lots, you take on whatever else is in the lots. And so a lot of the extras, what would have been considered extras, weren't necessarily high dollar items, but uh, fun 
uh, neat things that still would sell decently well, even if it was for a lower price, but nonetheless, they would move. Then there were some things in it that I'm just not, I don't know. I don't know. Let me just show you. Let me stop. Let me stop talking about it and I'll just show you. Okay. This here is something that came extra in the lot. Well, son of a monkey. Let me try to get it to where I can show you. There we go. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see, but on here it says, what does it say? May 1954. And then you can see on here, there's like honeymoon written on, you know, this part up here. Uh, of course you got like some artwork. Uh, what else is in here? December 4th, 1954. Rice thrown at wedding. Uh, there's, you know, like little newspaper cutouts and marriage license. So here was their marriage license. Uh, then there's this little poem thing here. I know a smile. I love to see a voice. I love to hear. I know a hand. I love to hold a presence. I love near. I know a heart, a loving heart that's thoughtful, fine, and true. I know them all and love them all for they belong to you. And, you know, like, like this is their actual photo. This didn't come with the frame. This what well, did, but, you know, like I didn't buy it at the st store with this in it. This is somebody's actual stuff, you know, from the 50s when they got married. So it's it's got that vintage appeal to it, but it's a personalized, obviously, personalized thing. But at the same time, like, this is adorable. This is... I don't know who this is, but this is important. You know, this is neat. This is, you know, people buy photos like this all the time. Like, look, he's bent in trying to, you know, kiss her and she's got her like hand up by his face and it's, it's cute. And anyways, it is in a vintage frame. I don't know if you guys can see that very good, but it's got like the dark, real dark blue here, the green, you know, it's very, it's a very forties, fifties frame. Uh, it does have some mild, like occasional scratches and stuff on it, but it's otherwise in good shape. And, oh, I put this tape on here, uh, cause I took the nails out of it to investigate what was all going on in here. But anyway, I mean, even behind here, this is all like calendar dates. It talks about her uh, you know, like hair appointment when they were going to meet with the, you know, rabbi or pastor or whatever they were seeing. And, you know, I just think that that's really neat. Like really neat. And, you know, Wednesday, September 4th, twins 20th birthday, norm to transfer point. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a snapshot into somebody's life, but in a, you know, in time periods where we all love to collect and love the history from and things like that. And so, yes, this is personalized. You probably wouldn't get this and, and display it as your own, but isn't this kind of neat? Like, I don't know. I always think like, what if you had some kind of shop, a hair salon, I don't know, something and this is something like you could still put up as decor because it's just got that that fun vintage vibe to it that 50s vibe i mean just look at how the artwork is the old car up here i think it's cool i don't know why i don't know that this has resale value don't assume it does because i have no clue but does it I don't know what else to do with it other than throw it away. And I suppose I just don't feel right about doing that. Like this, this isn't going to hold the importance that it did to this woman or this man. No, like nobody who buys this, is it going to have that sort of sentimental value, but it's, it's still neat. And I don't feel right about throwing it away because of what it is. I just, I don't know. I thought I'd show you guys that and see what your guys' opinions are because it's like I've said before, in reselling, you're going to come across a lot of things that 
you don't know what the hell to do with. You just don't. And I don't know. Is it okay to throw it away? Is it okay to do that? I just don't. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't like it. But is anybody else out there going to even want it? So then, I don't know. What am I doing? Because I'm not keeping it for me. So what am I doing? Uh, I'll show them to you one at a time because they're just kind of big. So this paper behind here, I don't... I mean, it might have been original. I don't know. But it's like cheap feeling. I don't think it would have been original to this. I feel like these got put in here maybe. These are AIDS Memorial Quilt, October 11th through the 13th, 1996, Washington, D.C., The Names Project. So, you know, I'm going to be honest, uh, I don't know a whole lot personally about this. I know that this was, uh, you know, this, this massive quilt where people all put together, you know, these certain size squares and stuff, and they had laid them out on the lawn uh, out in DC and I want to say it was 45,000 or 48,000 squares total. I think it covered like 15 blocks or so is what it was reported in the papers or, or whatnot anyway. Um, so as a lot of you guys know through the 80s and the 90s uh, AIDS was a big deal. Still is. And so this was one of the uh, events, I guess, you know, government put on for a fundraiser type drive thing for AIDS research and that kind of stuff. And I, I have a feeling that these folks, that same, uh, frame of wedding stuff, this also came from that estate. And I feel like this had to do with their son. And, you know, I, because when you come across stuff like that, you got to start doing a little snooping, right? So, I want to say this, this had to do with their son. Uh, I think this was him right here. And I think this was him because, uh, there was a poster, like one of those tourist posters from Vegas. And so it was like, you know, it was like a, a, a big photo of the strip and, uh, had like a, a billboard, you know, in lights, your name in lights, that kind of thing. And that's what it was. It had Kip uh, Weiner or Weiner, I'm not sure how you say it, on there. And again, I have no idea who these people are. No idea. That is not something that I have a personal attachment to. I don't know how I feel about just throwing it away, though. And I think that there's probably people out there that went to that event are familiar with it, lost somebody, whatever the case is, you know. And so these are like uh, prints, I guess, prints from it. I mean, obviously it's not the quilt, so they're prints from it. And uh, I don't know how many of these are out there. I don't know that there was even a print run number on it. It looks like a good quality print. I'm not sure what to do with them. Uh, I did try to look up like the names project, like went on eBay and stuff. And there are some things, uh, for the most part, it's t-shirts and like, uh, little pins. Um, there's some books out there. I guess there were some books written about it or that, you know, books about the quilt and about th this project in particular. I don't know what value I would put on these, you know? So let me ask you this, I guess. So the matting on here is what actually tells me what this is from. I may not have ever even figured this out because there's really not anything, you know, outside of gay pride rainbow flag on here. Like, I really wouldn't have known what this was about if this wasn't on here. And so uh, that makes me think this is, uh, you know, ordered from the event or I don't know how they obtained it. I don't know. Was it hung in a gallery somewhere? I don't know. So I don't know what the value on that would be. But I'm thinking, like, I don't know, put $50 on it and see if anybody shows interest. I just, it's another thing that I hate to throw away. I feel like, you know, it's a touchy subject, as is anything, especially dealing with circumstances like this. So, you know, that part aside, it's like... I think there's people out there that possibly want this and maybe not, but 
I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Is it something you would you would list? What do you, what would you do with it? If you did list it, I don't how would you go about deciding an appropriate price on it because I can't find any comps. Anyway, I thought I'd throw that out there because it's you know, there's some things you're going to come across when you're reselling that you're just conflicted on what to do with. And this is I don't know, for me this is some of it. So So this last thing, ooh, yeah. So this last thing, I'm not sure at all. I don't want to sell it. I'll start with that. I don't think that that's appropriate. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that's appropriate. But this also came from that estate. I had no clue it was even in the lot. It's not even something I saw in the photos. I probably would have let the lot go had I realized this was there. I'm not even convinced it was in the photos at all. But regardless, I have it now. And I have just stuck it in my storage room and let it hang out there. It doesn't freak me out or anything, but it's not something I would want to sell. I don't even know that you can sell it. I don't know the rules on this kind of thing. I'm hoping some of you guys do. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. I think it's pretty obvious what it is. This isn't the end of reselling that I, I get into, really. So, I don't know. Has anybody ran into this situation before? I know there's people that have, uh, you know, picked up jars or vases, urns, basically. <laughs> With, with cremation ashes still in them. So I, I don't know. This is a little bit different. Uh, what have you guys done with it in the in, in your experience? Or what would you do with it? Or what are the rules on it? I don't know. So, yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it on this one, guys. I just... Wanted to show you some of that Coca-Cola stuff uh, real quick and then thought I'd, I'd run some of this by you. I've, I've mentioned before, like, there's sometimes things you get from uh, or while you're reselling and you're, you're just not sure exactly what to do with it. You know, and things like, like this, like, I think somebody out there would find this, like, cool decor. I really do. I don't, I don't feel bad or awkward about selling this. Uh, I think things like this people come across probably somewhat frequently. I just thought this is in such such well-preserved condition and it was in, all framed in this. Like they had put together a collage of, of all this stuff and kept it for over 50 years and I just think that's cool. And so that I don't have a problem reselling. I would love it to find a good home. I, I would. I'd love for somebody to be able to display that and and give it a little bit of life. I think it's a cool artifact, if you will. I think it's just neat. So, you know, somebody who has a, a, a wedding dress shop, how cool would that be to have hanging on the wall or something, you know? Um, the other thing, I, I don't, I don't have a clue. I am literally, I'm speechless with it. I don't know what what to do with that. So any, any advice or thoughts would be, well, that would be helpful. So, uh, for the, um, AIDS Memorial, uh, prints, I'm not sure on those either. And, you know, are, is that something I should list? Should I not? I feel like I, I could, I, I don't have any problems with listing it. And I, I really, it's one of those things that uh, I, I do think that there's some people out there that would find value in that. And I really honestly don't care what profit would be on it. I, those kinds of things I like, I like for them to find homes where they're going to be appreciated or, or collected or, you know, whatever. But, uh, I'm not as concerned with finding, you know, some big profit on it. So I guess that's where I'm lost on you know, what, what's, what's a reasonable and appropriate thing for both myself and the person buying it? What would that number look like? Cause I'm drawing a blank on this. I'm not sure. Anyways, I guess that's it for, for now guys. And, uh, I'll have another one coming out 
pretty soon. I want to talk to you guys about, about these guys here a little bit. Because I'm getting ready to list this dude that I've shown you before. I'm getting ready to list him. And I figured I would make a video, a short video, uh, just explaining to you a little bit more who this artist was and everything. And, and then get this stuff listed. I kind of feel like... Uh, it's a necessary thing to do before I list it. So anyways, I'll get that one done, get it out to you guys soon, and I'll catch you on the next one.